PNS Zulfiq and INS Kolkata are pride of Pakistan and India respectively. In this video, we will compare them based on their specifications and features. The comparison will look into three aspects. Structure range and endurance. Radar and sensors. Weaponry. Though they are of different class, PNS Zulfiqar being a frigate and INS Kolkata a destroyer, they are being compared as they essentially perform the same role and are the main battleship of their country. The F-22P, or Zulfiqar class frigate meaning sword in English, is a general purpose frigate built by China for the Pakistan Navy. They are an adaptation of the Type 053 frigates of China, but include elements of the Type 054 frigates as well and are custom designed as per the requirement of Pakistan Navy. The first ship of this class, PNS Zulfuk, was handed over to the Pakistan Navy on July 30, 2009. The Kolkata class destroyers are a follow-on of Delhi class destroyers, but are considerably more capable due to 2,363 modifications in the design. These are the first stealth destroyers being built by India and marked a significant development in India's shipbuilding technology. INS Kolkata is the lead ship of the Kolkata class guided missile destroyers. She was constructed at Mazagandak Limited and was handed over to the Navy on July 10, 2014. As we can see from the above data, PNS Zulfikar is a relatively smaller ship when compared with INS Kolkata but has a decent range and is appropriately equipped to confront any enemy ship in the vicinity of Pakistan's coast. INS Kolkata has been designed to venture far away from India's coast, and is capable of blue water duties as well. Structure of both the ship are designed to have low radar cross-section and none of them hold any distinct edge over the other in this aspect. INS Kolkata has distinct advantage in regards to range and endurance, but this advantage is not expected to be a game changer, as Pakistan and India are neighbors, and both ship have the required range and endurance to move close to the rival's coastline. The PNS Zulfikar uses the SR-60, is in Chinese air, surface search radar introduced in the late 1990s. KH-2007 navigation radar is also deployed in PNS Zulfok. INS Kolkata deploys the MF Star Asa multifunction radar, Thales LW08D band air search radar and the AIELM 2238 liters band star surveillance radar. Its primary sensor MF Star an advanced active phased array radar that can track hundreds of incoming missiles and aircraft at ranges beyond 250 kilometers. The MF Star is in the same class as the U.S. Navy's Aegis Combat System which form the basis of their most advanced Ticonderoga class cruisers and early Burke class destroyers. The suit used by INS Kolkata is newer and much more sophisticated than deployed by PNS Zulfok. Both ships are equipped with an array of defensive and offensive weapons. The decisive weapons in the confrontation will be air defense missiles and anti-ship missiles. FM-90N which equips the PNS Zulfikr is a good defensive weapon but has relatively low range, can take out incoming missile at a range of 15 kilometers. Also, it is not designed to meet a threat from high supersonic and maneuverable missiles. Barricade is a state-of-art air defense system designed by Israel and India. It has a range of 70 kilometers and can take out missile as close as half a meter from the ship. It is a fully automatic system and is considered in one of the best in the class. PNS Zulfikar has subsonic C-802 anti-ship missile, on the other hand INS Kolkata, has the one of most lethal anti-ship missile, that is BrahMos. The BrahMos is in different class and trumps the C-802 in range, speed and maneuverability. In a war scenario, the anti-ship missile FM-90N of the PNS Zulfikr is expected to be neutralized by the Barricade. The Barricade which is designed to take out supersonic threats, coupled with highly efficient MF star radar is too strong a defense to penetrate, for a subsonic missile like C-802. On the other hand, 
salvo of 2-3 Brahmos and a saturation attack is expected to penetrate the FM-90N as well as the close-in weapon system Type 730B. Brahmos is high supersonic as well as maneuverable missile which also has complex countermeasure to avoid being taken down. Brahmos is capable of S maneuverers in last stage of its flights. Due to the low range of FM-90N, FM-90N and Type 730B will have to engage Brahmos at a stage, when it is most difficult to take it down. From the above aspects, we can safely predict that in case of head-on confrontation, INS Kolkata will be able to suppress the PNS Zulfok. The battle scenario will obviously change in case there are other considerations like presence of AWACS or submarines. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button, if you find the video interesting. Kindly provide your feedback in the comment section, it will help us improve. The ASW or anti-submarine warfare ship, K-Morta class, has been designed to protect against